This video is about this application which is capable of editing an image, adding or removing objects, changing positions just by giving a proper prompt. Below are these images and prompts to demonstrate the capability and functionality of this application. If I click on one of these examples, the image and the respective prompt in the row will be loaded in the input fields of the application above. If we look at the prompt loaded, it says, the woman in, and then this section, this section, which is referring to this, the image one. Further, the prompt says, waves her hand happily in the crowd. In the settings section below, these values are the height and width of the needed result. Guidance scale should be about the importance given to the prompt when generating an image. Similarly, image guidance should be for the uploaded image. Inference steps control the number of iterations in the image generation. Seed is to get a similar image using seed ID. The maximum image size, as the name says, is about the image size. Check this option if you have low VRAM. And check this if you want to move some processing to CPU. Let's generate to see whether the subject is waving her hand in crowd. When it's about the hardware requirement for running this application, I think it should work on 8 gigabytes card. It takes the entire space available in RAM at the beginning of the image generation. On my computer, it took around 5 minutes to generate its first image. The first image may take more time to generate image due to loading some models. Let's check the result. A big room full of peoples, and our subject remains unchanged. Waving her hand in crowd. Apart from fingers, everything is acceptable. I have used the demo image and prompt given by the team behind this project. Let me make some changes in the prompt to check this application. I will add the woman wearing sunglasses and earrings to see if it understands to position the earrings and sunglasses without selecting the areas manually like in paint. The RAM usage is still high while generating second image, which means you will need at least 16 gigabytes of memory. Also, if compared with other text to image applications, it takes more time. A room full of people is no more maybe due to sunglasses, it's an open space. The AI knows to position an object correctly, which also means the AI can detect an object, body part in an image. It understands and adds accessories accordingly. The image may not look realistic, but the fingers are corrected, which makes it acceptable. After some more attempts, I tried loading another demo, which has two images. The prompt is, two women are raising fried chicken legs in a bar. A woman is, then the reference code given for image one. The other woman is, then the reference code given for image two. Let's generate to see how it does. I got an error, but my RAM and video RAM were not utilized completely. Still, for some reason it set out of memory. I had installed the application Omnigen using Pinocchio. I tried restarting the application and tried another demo. The prompt is, following the pose of the image 1. Generate a new photo of a young boy sitting on a sofa in the library, holding a book. Further, it describes the character and the surrounding. Let's generate and check if I get an error or image as a result. After 5 minutes, I got a result, and the result generated looks good. Unlike Fucus, the image here needs to be described properly to get a decent result. Also, the image code should be mentioned after we introduce a character in the prompt. This was the demo from the application. Let's try different images on these prompts. I was not able to copy the prompt when using Pinocchio, so I clicked the demo. I updated the image from an image generated by Fucus application. I will edit the prompt as well. The word man will be replaced by woman. So, the prompt becomes, a woman in a black shirt is reading a book. The woman is in the image, and then the image reference code. 
Hit generate to see the result. After 4.5 minutes, I got the result, and it was good. The earrings have been changed, but the hair and face is very well adjusted. The body looks perfect. I will try using the generated image and try changing the book. I will change the prompt from reading a book to holding a flower. And hit generate. I got the result, which took around 5 minutes. And the result is acceptable. It is still the same character from the original image with some additional details on the face. Earlier you saw, when I tried a demo of two images, the application gave an error. I tried again, but it remains the same. I will be trying a different demo with two images this time. The prompt here is, a man and a woman sitting at a classroom desk. The man with yellow hair from the image one. The woman on the left from the image two. Let's generate. After running for some time, I got an error. I tried again, but using two images gave an error. I tried decreasing the demo image size from 4000 pixels to 1024 pixels. Still, I had the error when using two images. After spending lots of time trying different ideas, nothing worked. Then I installed the project without Pinocchio and tried generating the image. It took me around 10 minutes to generate the first image. The generated image is good. Both the subjects are the exact character from the original image. Now that the demo worked with two images, let's try images generated from Fucus using SDXL. I will update the prompt. My prompt will be two women sitting in a bar having drink. The first woman is in image 1. The second woman is in image 2. Let's generate. I don't know why but this image took more than 30 minutes to generate. However, the result was good, and it was above my expectation. The application works great, but it needs improvement on the memory consumption. I assume there are multiple models working behind the scenes. I tried a few more images. It took around 6 minutes. The application may generate bad results. Take reference from the demo prompts for good results. Or else fix the image using in paint. The installation with and without Pinocchio. Search Pinocchio. Go to Pinocchio.computers. Then click on this download button. Download for Windows. Right click the downloaded file and extract. Double click the extracted file. The installation in progress. It may ask to allow firewall access. This is where Pinocchio will keep all the applications. Make sure the mentioned folder is not present in the given path. Folder will be created. Once done, go to Discover section. You should be able to search the application by typing Omnigen. Click to install. This all will be installed. You may have to do it twice to have all the requirements. For direct installation, I had problems with these requirements and versions. I installed multiple other forks. I will share the link in the description. Make sure you have Git and Conda installed. Open CMD. Clone the project. Get into Omnigen directory. I am just verifying the Conda installation. Create Conda environment with Python 3.10. Type letter Y for such a question and hit enter. Activate the environment. Install the requirement in the environment. I do not have the space in my computer, so I canceled the installation. You can run the project by this command in the active environment. Let me know if you are using this. How is this application? Share your thoughts in the comments.